In this presentation, we'll be reviewing the basics of how to use a Titmus 2 visual acuity machine as a friends for sight screening volunteer. The Titmus 2 visual acuity machine is a useful vision screening tool for community health fairs where space is limited and electricity is available. The machine is intended for use on adults and adolescents and shouldn't be used to screen younger children. Each machine comes in a padded rolling suitcase. Inside the pockets of the suitcase, you'll find the power cord and additional supplies to use during the screening process. To set up, place the machine on a table and plug the power cord into the base of the machine. Plug the other end of the machine into an outlet. Turn on the machine by pressing the power switch located near the cord at the base. Position the base of the machine so that the control buttons along the leg of the machine will be within arm's reach of the person conducting the screening. When you remove it from the case, the machine will be locked in a flat position. To unlock the hinge, use one hand to push down gently on the front of the machine, and at the same time, pull gently on the ring on the side of the machine and twist 45 degrees. The hinge will unlock and you can freely position the machine up and down as needed. The visual acuity machine can test for both near and distance visual acuity. However, Friends for Sight volunteers will only be screening for distance visual acuity. To make sure the machine is testing the correct acuity, make sure the lever near the viewing end is pointing towards the mountain image and not the book image. The machine contains different test slides. Friends for Sight volunteers will only be using a specific slide to screen. This slide number is different on each machine. The right slide is marked with a star sticker on the dial. Before screening, make sure the star sticker is visible and on top of the machine. With the correct settings in place, you are ready to screen. Ask the subject to place their forehead on the padded rest and look into the viewing end of the machine. The top two buttons on the leg of the machine will block one eye at a time. To screen the right eye, press the button on the right, which shows an image of a person's left eye being blocked. To screen the left eye, press the button on the left, which shows an image of a person's right eye being blocked. The subject should keep both eyes open throughout the screening. While one eye is blocked, the subject should see two columns of letters. Each row of letters is numbered for easy reference during the screening. Make sure the subject can see the letters, then ask them what is the smallest line of letters you can read clearly. After they identify which line they can read clearly, ask them to read that line. The subject should read both sets of letters for the most accurate screening results. As the subject reads the letters, follow along on the answer sheet provided. The subject needs to correctly name half of the letters on that line in order to pass. If the subject passes at that line, ask them to go down a line. If the subject does not pass at that line, ask them to go up a line. The answer sheet has the corresponding visual acuity fraction listed for each line. Once you find the subject's acuity, record the result, then switch the buttons on the machine so you can begin screening the other eye. Repeat the process and record the results for the second eye. If the subject is wearing prescription glasses or contacts, make sure they are wearing them during the screening and make a note of them in the results. If the subject sees worse than 2030 in either eye, tell them friends for sight, recommends that they get a full eye exam and hand them a flyer with information about available resources. If the event you're attending has special circumstances, a Friends for Sight staff member will provide additional training. Some screening events are so large that we do not record individual results. Instead, we tally how many screenings were completed and how many people were referred. The Friends for Sight staff will let you know the best way to record results at your event. If you have any questions about how to use the Visual Acuity Machine, please contact the program coordinator. Thank you for your willingness to volunteer with friends for sight and help us with our mission to save sight and change lives.